امتیازت بکنیم من از تدبیر نمانم در قبل تو به این دیمم اله هده بنا منشش سحت و تلاحت برده زکم و منتی ما امکنو گم اله هده My name is Stanley Quinda, and I am on a journey to Tunisia, the country which sparked the Arab Revolution. I want to find out how the country has evolved since the 14 January 2011 revolution, which has changed the state of democracy around the world. Although everything appears normal in downtown Tunis, the leftovers of the revolution are everywhere. I've arrived in Tunis on a weekday and I've decided to go out tonight and see how this town go to play. As I was coming here, I thought Tunis was a very conservative country and I even carried my own beer in case I won't find any. But to my surprise, I found well-stocked nightclubs everywhere. <laughs> On this day, I woke up to the Tunisian vibe. As I drove to the University of Tunis, I could feel the city ticking. So here I am. This is the time in Tunisia and I'm walking around the streets just to get a vibe of what the revolution was all about and find out how the country has become since 14 January revolution. I'm in Tunis during the week of the World Social Forum and apart from the fun on the streets, the Tunisians who have for long lived under Ben Ali's dictatorship took time to share their experiences with the rest of the world. If people are ready, if people are ready to connect, solidar, be, to work together and create together and looking for the best way to how to do that. I mean, this question, uh, this man. As activists here, I'm uh, happy with this event because it, um, I mean, uh, in fact, it, um, it gives you the opportunity uh, to uh, know about others' activities, not only about other associations in Tunisia, but about the civil society in the world. If we can talk about an international civil society, I mean, you can find here in, uh, in this forum, uh, we see all the kind of activities. Even as, for example, in Amnesty International, we have uh, more than four activities here, uh, I mean, more than four themes. So what about social, I mean, world social forum? I think there are thousands of activities. So uh, you can here enrich yourself uh, and your culture and your, uh, even your career as an activist for human rights to know about others' activities. While the world's attention was grabbed by the Tunisian revolution, we saw Ben Ali fleeing to Saudi Arabia. Locals still feel much more needs to be done to bring about full democracy. These two girls are friends. They are keen to finish their studies and get employed. But they are worried about a lot of things in Tunisia even after the revolution that they thought would end their problems. 
déjà nous le fait avant une révolution avant la contre la dictature avant la contre la liberté d'expression et finalement c'est pas ça mais j'ai beaucoup nagé de malheur déjà l'arbitre est vraiment allégé mais que nous je fais aussi le 14 janvier je me et nous on a un accueil à la plutôt à la zawili les marins touchent rien mais un accueil à la liberté d'expression mais mais qui fait que nous sommes là nous nous allons nager tout à fait malheureusement je dis bien malheureusement bah je n'ai pas eu la chance de nager mais c'est pas facile She said that the, the revolution was um, aimed uh, primarily for the, the liberty of expression and uh, for, for dignity and for, um, uh, for the human rights. And instead what is happening now is that the liberty of expression is limited and even, um, I mean, uh, uh, it, um, it is put to an end. There, there is no more liberty of expression. Instead they are trying to, uh, to impose some Uh, some mode of, of life which is foreign for Tunisia, which is not ours. We cannot talk about dignity if we, if we don't talk about our economic rights, social rights, cultural rights, but our right to health and our right to, to, to get house and our right to I mean, uh, good living conditions. Today has been another day. Tomorrow I'm going to try and speak to more uh, students to find out how they are living in this new Tunisia, but uh, for me, um, it has been an eye-opener and I think freedom of expression is something that one can easily see, one can easily experience in this country, although there are still so many issues that need to be dealt with, um, you know, unemployment is one thing that the students have been telling me, it's still a big problem, um, they want access to you know, better educational facilities, uh, they want better chances in life, they, they, they generally want a good life. We were expecting more, uh, more things, uh, that uh, our life will get better and uh, all of this, but uh, the truth is not, uh, but the truth is not, uh, is not it, we are no better yet, uh, things go worse. The problem here, there is not a political view, a clear political view, that's why our uh, uh, all the people are. Uh, that's why all the people are concerned uh, uh, of the of the future of Tunisia. If we talk about situation of human rights in Tunisia, I mean, um, there is a big change, I'm sure, but also there is a, there is a, this change is in risk. The change is that we can talk, that we can ha hold a social forum in Tunisia now. The changement is that I am talking freely without police who controls me, me in the freedom of expression. Uh, this is the changement. The risk is that the objective of this revolution uh, are not realized. I mean, the growth of economics, uh, the growth of developments, uh, the, I mean, the right to have a, a human uh, life conditions is not uh, I mean, uh, it has not yet uh, really realized it. Uh, other, other human rights are also at risk, especially are the women's rights. I mean, we are talking about spring uh, in, in Arab countries. We fear in Tunisia that we are talk talking about a uh, thump uh, or uh, an autumn for, hum for women's rights. Uh, we are struggling. Not to, um, not to in, uh, elaborate women's rights. We are even struggling to keep on the same situation of women's rights before the revolution. Uh, my name is uh, Hsenia Atif. My name is Atif. Uh, I am from Tunisia. Uh, we, uh, we have some problems, uh, like violence. Mm -hmm. Not uh, some, some, some kind of violence. Uh, religion, uh, religion, especially religion violence, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we hope that uh, that uh, Tunisia will be better. The, the extremism, and uh, that's all. Okay, and after uh, the we should we should in Tunisia we should uh, try to accept the difference, mm -hmm. to try to uh, accept the difference between between us. I, I don't like uh, war, I, I like peace, so the revolution uh, will or, or must, must be uh, peaceful. Uh, 
Pacific, Pacific Revolution, uh, the, the, main, the main element uh, uh, is the mind. I am talking about, I mean, the right of, of for example, freedom of expression. Yeah. Uh, we cannot now talk about it. We, I mean, I am, I am free to talk and to write. Mm -hmm. It's better. We cannot say that it's not, I mean, that it's the same. Mm -hmm. But if we are talking about uh, economic rights and social rights, I cannot say this. For mm -hmm. example, till now, Tunisia, even after the revolution, and this is so strange, did not ratify the, the optional protocol of, a, of economic, social, and cultural rights. Mm -hmm. This is the most important. And we, ha we have revolution for economic rights mm -hmm. because of unbalance between regimes mm -hmm. and because of inequality between regimes economically. Mm -hmm. I am talking always economically. Nothing is realized on this side. The students say they do not miss Ben Ali, but they want to see a better economy, which they say was far much better under him. J'ai bien aimé l'idée de FSM, le Forum Social Mondial, parce que ça montre la diversité des, des pensées. La démocratie pourra, et j'espère qu'elle pourra, imposer le fait que tout le monde est libre de penser, de pratiquer la religion qu'il aimerait la pratiquer. Pas de contraintes sur personne. Tout le monde est libre de penser, de dire, de parler à notre messe Ben Ali. Euh, après toute révolution, dans le monde entier, il y a des dégâts, il y a des bénéfices, mais il faut euh, avoir patience. Et la patience est l'arme de, de tout le monde. Et maintenant, je suis heureuse que la révolution a eu le jour. Et j'espère que ça continuera comme système de démocratie. Apart from the economy, there seems to be a problem of growing religious fundamentalism. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm here uh, like a participant and a uh, priest, the two. I'm a part of uh, Sandika, who's na whose uh, name is uh, the EGTE, uh, a general union of, uh, Tuni of uh, Tunisian of, stu of students. Mm -hmm. um, we are a Sandika who, uh, who defend, uh, defend the, the right of uh, students in the university. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, uh, Student here, and uh, but uh, my uh, my uh, my veil uh, is uh, my veil. Uh, I'm arrested. I'm, uh, I'm refused by the administration and uh, the teacher here, but because my uh, because of, of my niqab, my veil, my veil, uh, because um, because uh, they, uh, they, uh, they 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 did say stop, don't uh, don't study, don't pass your exam. Uh, it is uh, for me. It's a racism. Uh, Racism of religion. Um, I'm not a terrorist to stop, to stop me uh, to, to passing uh, my exams or, uh, or, uh, or, uh, or sit on my uh, sit in my uh, my lessons. Okay. Uh, just uh, just uh, just I uh, like to say I'm uh, I'm a uh, normal student. I have the right to study. Uh, so so why why you, why did you stop me? Uh, this is uh, this is my question to. to administration and the teacher. So you have been asked to stop your studies because of... Yes, yes, they, sto they stopped me. They, uh, um, since the... Since the... Since I stop my, uh, I stop my education mm -hmm. because of my faith. Why? Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't maltreat uh, anyone. Mm -hmm. This is happening after the revolution. What does it mean to you? I, uh, I, I expect that uh, after the, the, the revolution, I can, I can, um, in the regime of uh, Ben Ali, uh, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't uh, wear my veil. Uh, uh, I, I expect that after the, the revolution, I can, I can study with my veil. I can, I can move. I can work. I can do anything with my veil. But now. 
know, I, uh, I don't think that because uh, because the, at the university they uh, they don't permit for me uh, to practice my uh, my life normally uh, just because I'm valid. Mm -hmm. They they said uh, there is no communication between uh, between uh, between teacher and you. Mm -hmm. Why they 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 uh, uh, they. Uh, uh, they give me medicines. They, uh, I, I understand with with my mind. I don't uh, I don't make the, this uh, this uh, veil uh, uh, on my mind. I, I make it uh, uh, on my face. Mm -hmm. So why? Mm -hmm. Why I don't I don't I don't uh, find uh, I don't find the uh, uh, the uh, the answer for my for my wife's question. Mm -hmm. And how does that make you feel that you can't get an education? What? Just I'm saying how does that make you feel that you can't get an education just because of your dressing yeah i i, I was uh, in in the primary uh, in the school i, I was i was i was excellent in my education mm. uh, i i was i, I have i have the, i had my, uh, the, the very excellent uh, the excellent marks but now I can't I can't do anything in in the university. Mm -hmm. I, uh, every every day I uh, I go to the university. Uh, I uh, I um, go to the, the university. I sit I sit in the garden or in the place and uh, back to home. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't I don't pass my, my exams. I don't uh, I don't uh, listen, I don't uh, pass my lessons. So so why? Does the government allow this? Do they allow your being expelled from school just because of your dressing? No, I, I, wear, I wear that after, after the school. Okay. Um, um, in the school, I, uh, I wear, the, I, uh, I wear the, the hijab, mm -hmm. but my face is shown. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, in the regime of Ben Ali, they, they, don't, they don't accept me. But, uh, but after the revolution, they accept my hijab. Mm -hmm. So I, did, I did say, why I, 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 wear, I don't wear the, the niqab? It's after the the revolution. Why? Well, it's it's change. Mm -hmm. But but I I, I expect the uh, things that uh, that uh, that uh, are I'm I'm not fine. I'm not fine here in the university. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So what do you want to see happen generally in Tunisia to make this country a better place where you can enjoy your rights to wear what you want and also have an education? What should happen? I, I, I need, I need just, just some freedom, just some freedom to, uh, uh, to, to respect me, respect me as I am, uh, respect me uh, as, a, as a woman, woman who, who wear the niqab, who wear his, his veil. I, I need uh, just some freedom to, to work, to study, because I, uh, I, I, I know that uh, I can give the place to, to the society. Uh, to to, uh, to my, uh, in my education, I, I can be excellent. So why they, they exclude me in uh, in, in out the uh, out this university? Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, the new Tunisia is supposed to be about freedom to choose. The local chapter of the Amnesty International feels the newly found rights should be enjoyed with some measure of responsibility. I'm Sylvain Barkerson uh, from uh, Tunisia. I work as activism coordinator in the section of MC International here. I am, uh, I am with um, in, um, freedom of wearing what do you want. Uh, I have the right to be unveiled or to get a, a veil, but I am against the niqab. Mm -hmm. I am against you to walk in youth in the street and I am against you to walk also covering totally in the street. Mm -hmm. I have to know your identity for my security. Mm -hmm. Niqab is not our culture mm -hmm. and I am against it. And I cannot say that it's freedom of wearing. The veil, yes, but the niqab, no. Who are you under the niqab? It may be a criminal under the niqab. I can't accept this. The most important text, uh, I mean, the most important thing that we have learn from this revolution, especially after the revolution, mm -hmm. that we have to resist, we have to struggle, but also to resist, mm -hmm. to continue our struggle. I said to them, I mean, continue your struggle for your rights, because it's yours, and if you do not struggle for it, you cannot reach it. 
In fact, it happened in uh, it happens in the south mm -hmm. in Sidi Bouzid. It starts, but for us in Gafsa, it starts since uh, 2008 mm -hmm. in uh, the mines region in Ordeif, and then it's and then the social events are continuous mm -hmm. till the down of Ben Ali regime. In fact, I, I mean I am an activist before the revolution, not only during the revolution. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, my participation was to be active, was to be in the street, okay. was to uh, support others and support, I mean, to continue, to mm -hmm. not go, I mean, uh, to not uh, degrade, to not agree. An unbelievable moment. Uh, I have some friends of mine who, who are waiting that Ben Ali regime will fall, but I am always saying to them, you are dreaming, it's not now. Mm -hmm. But they say the, re the revolution, they said that the revolution is coming. Mm -hmm. We hear its voice. And uh, I was struggling with them, but I don't believe, I did not believe that it will be in that time. On this day, I have decided to spend the day in the city and see how ordinary Tunisians are getting by. So here is my last day in Tunisia. I'm going to try and do the last thing that I have not yet done, that is to visit the point where the revolution here in Tunisia started. And I'm told it is close to the dreaded Minister of Interior, which is in my home country, the Minister of Home Affairs. I am going to try and set out how I'm going to do it from right here at Tunis University. The police are everywhere, but while I tried to get to the Minister of Interior, I discovered the other side of Tunis. Now at uh, Sidi Busai, I'm told by a local taxi driver that this is the old Medina. And uh, one peculiar thing about this place is that um, it's painted in white and blue. And I'm told that is the law uh, in this country. And it's meant to preserve this old Medina city. Uh, so I'm just going to walk around and see the place and immerse myself in the local history of it. and. Uh, the little that I've seen so far it looks like a very old place, so I'm just going to check it out now. And with that, I got more than I had bargained for. I left Tunisia a satisfied man with a great sense of what Tunisia has become. A joy and a freedom.